FMLP 103.3 Asheville. We just heard Andromeda by Way is Blood from their album Titanic Rising. And coming up next is Radioactive Kids, which is brought to you by our contributing listeners and by The Grail Movie House. Located at 45 South French Broad Avenue, The Grail is an independent, locally owned theater that screens art and independent films, locally produced content, classics, and a regular rotation of cinematic surprises. More info at grailmoviehouse.com. Asheville FM is exclusively programmed by volunteers, and we're always on the lookout for people interested in radio, in helping others, and in being service, in being of service, excuse me, to our community. More information on how to get involved is available at our website, AshevilleFM.org. And last week when I tried to play our theme song, it skipped. So hopefully it won't do it this time. Let's g- give it a try, shall we? Hello, this is Radioactive Kids on Asheville FM. I am Sagan, and we have a great show for you this week. We have new music from um, Brady Reimer, uh, Johnette Downing, Renee and Friends. We'll we'll hopefully be interviewing them at uh, 9.30 if everything works out correctly. And today is the first day of Asheville FM Spring Fund Drive. That's right. We are going to be asking for your money. So, um, I am here in the studio. We have a special guest who is here to help me ask for your money. Hello, I, 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 and I'm happy to welcome Ben from Dolphin Bum Bum. bum excuse me, Dolphin Bum Bum, and uh, local uh, kids music l- uh, t- t- teacher extraordinaire. Hello. That's right. Good morning, Sagan. I'm, I'm always listening to you from home, but now I'm just listening to you here. It's great. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we, we are happy to have you. Um, so, so yeah, so um, as you heard me say a m- 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 minute ago, I am Sagan here with... Ben Brill. Yes, and we are here to welcome you to the Asheville FM Spring Membership and Fund Drive. Yeah. Now, we're only going to take a few minutes of your time. We know how much you love this programming, and that's why we're here for you. This yes. week, our spring fun drive, and to help keep the station running, we need your support. It's time to take action for what is valuable and not take the things we love for granted. Asheville FM keeps you up to date on what's going on around the world and the nation, especially at times when truth and facts are needed the most. We are your window to the world in more ways than just news. Now, we play a lot of music on this station. Music you may not hear anywhere else. Yay! Our concert calendar will keep you up to date on what's happening around town three times a day. We've expanded our Spanish language programming and hope to continue adding even more language diversity to our platform. 
some of you may have heard about the Trump administration's proposed cuts to the Federal Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Although we don't get support from the Federal Corporation for Public Broadcasting grants, we do rely heavily on na- on the National Federation of C- Community Broadcasters, who are member-supported. And many of their members do rely on CPB grant funding. If NFCB membership deteriorates and they're not ar- around to support us, we would likely pay more for certain services and support. Because the threat that this funding cut um, uh, faces, it, it, it poses, excuse me, is very real. The need for your support right now is even more important. So, here comes the pitch. Donate now at AshevilleFM.org or call 828-259-3936. Whoa, Sagan, this is serious stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is, well, it's important. It I didn't know it was so serious. All right. So, donations from our listeners like you are the lifeblood of Asheville FM. Yes. Because they enable us to bring you creative, unique, independent programming year-round. And we want to funnel that life right back into this community as we maintain and forge partnerships with other organizations, cultivating consciousness around local musicians, artists, and activists. Yes. Your contribution will develop more community-forward projects. Yes, and, and of course, you are a local artist, and, and, and I'm glad to, to s- support you on the station. Appreciate that. Awesome. Well, of course, you know, we all play, on the, we all pay, excuse me, for the things that are important to us. And when you think about it, Asheville FM is probably as important to you, or even more so, than some of the other things you spend m- m- money on. Life just wouldn't be as good without Asheville FM. Nope. Ain't, ain't that the truth? And Asheville FM wouldn't be as good as it is right now without listener support. Your gift right now at AshevilleFM.org or Eight two eight two five nine three nine three six. That's eight two eight two five nine E Z F M. Pays for the shows you enjoy and rely on every day. It's super easy. I did it last year. Really, really quick and easy process. Yes, it's. Um, <laughs> if, you're, if you're not a subscriber, become one right now. It's mm-hmm. easy, convenient to make ongoing monthly donations from your bank account or credit card. Again, AshevilleFM.org or eight two eight two five nine. Three nine three six. And while we're waiting for your calls to roll in, we have some brand new music by Brady Reimer. He has a new album that's coming out uh, sometime in May. I don't remember the exact date. Um, anyway, uh, it is called Under the Big Umbrella, and this here is the title track. I met a real nice 
with the band Or maybe a cappella Come on along, let's sing a song Under the big umbrella I feel love, I feel happy I just wanna tell ya We can be our beautiful selves Under the big umbrella Under the big, under the big
Yes, brand new music by Brady Reimer. That was called Different is Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's from his brand new album, Under the Big Umbrella. Before that, we heard Stick Up, Stand Up, and we started that set off and the show off with the title track. So uh, I, I, I'm in the studio with Ben Brill. Um, w- w- what did you think of that? Well, I'll say again, you know, I think one of the most... One of the things I'm most grateful for is that I never would have heard of Brady Reimer, probably unless I had like your show and like, oh, awesome. the playlist you put up online. Um, so I, yeah, I've just heard a great of, bunch of great artists, and uh, yeah, he's one of them. So uh, yeah, I thought I think it's awesome. Yes, yeah, I, I, I love just like finding all this wonderful m- m- music that a, l- l- a lot of the time doesn't get played on the r- radio at all. Like you know, and and I'm r- really glad that that. I can share it w- with you because it's all about the artists. It's all about the m- music and and what and what the artists do. Um, yeah, and of course, the, this is the Asheville FM Fun Drive. So if you like that, you can uh, d- 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 donate at eight two eight two five nine three nine three six or by uh, going to AshevilleFM.org. Okay, l- l- let's play some more uh, music. This is not uh, brand new, but I but I haven't played these songs before. It's an album called Swamp Romp by Johnette D- 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 Downing with Scott B- B- Billington, and it's it's called a L- L- Louisiana Dance Party for Children. This first song I'm going to play is called Mississippi River. It's pretty darn awesome. <laughs>
Jump, 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 Shake, 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 Stomp your feet I don't hear them stomping And say Wee! Now freeze And now jump, jump, jump Jump, 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 jump Jump, 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 jump Jump, 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 jump Jump, 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 jump Shake, shake, shake Shake, 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 shake Shake, 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 shake Shake, 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 shake Shake, 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 shake Clap your hands Come on, keep clapping Stomp those feet You gotta stomp louder than that And say, whee! Low, 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 now jump, 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 now shake, 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 That is the debut single by a new group from Austin, Texas, called Cowabunga Dinosaur. That song is called <laughs> Jump. Yeah. Um, nice, yeah. Before that, we heard two songs by Jonette Downing uh, from her album Swamp Romp, Bamboola Rhythm, and Mississippi River. And uh, you, you were saying a, a, a nice little 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 uh, segue into the the fun to drive before we went on air so yeah so 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 this that song gave us a couple of instructions like jump 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 and, um, <laughs> so why don't we just jump over to our cell phones and we can clap our fingers onto that screen and go to ashfieldfm.org <laughs> yeah and al- also um we are having an open house all day so if you want to come down m- 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 maybe you're l- 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 listening and you're like i don't have anything to do i want to see what Asheville fm looks like and m- maybe what i look like <laughs> um 
you can do so. Just uh, come to our st- st- studios at 864 Haywood Road in beautiful West Asheville, and we will give you a tour. And, of course, you know, we're back again to remind you about our spring membership and fun drive. I'm Sagan here with Ben Brill. And we are taking a quick break here to ask you to invest a few minutes of your time to support the shows you rely on. Shows like Radioactive Kids. Make your gift now at AshevilleFM.org or 828-259-3936. Sounds great, Sagan. So we're just looking for your pledges today. Um Preferably, you know, within the next um, hour or so of our show, we'd yes. love, to, love for you to, to call in. Um, so, yeah, we just need your support to keep Asheville FM strong. It helps pays for you know shows like Sagan's show and uh, you know, all the other ones that you listen to here. Yeah. Now, now today's extra special though because you don't just come in here and get a tour. You come in here and you get you get coffee. You know, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Provided by Penny Cup Coffee, we, we've got a couple awesome sponsors um, providing us support today. Um, you know, Penny Cup gives a, well, they'll have a small batch roaster with a couple of locations. Um, and they've got a couple locations in Asheville. Uh, also, all day we've got Catawba Brew- Brewing for hosting our kickoff party uh, until 4 today. Awesome. 12 until 4. Uh, and Blue Moon Water provided uh, water for us today. And Devil's Foot Brewing brought in some ginger beers. I love ginger beer. I'm going to back. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, yeah. And, and, and you know, you can d- 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 donate at AshevilleFM.org or 828-259-3936. And uh, we, we, all, we have some... More very exciting news today. The d- donors at the Chapatulas Fund have made a very generous matching gift of $2,000 to kick us off on the first day of our drive. That means they will match any gift you make dollar for dollar up to that $2,000. It's their way of inspiring you to make a donation right now. Dollar to dollar, or dollar for dollar match in effect now. That's awesome, Sagan. Let's keep talking about that. Yes. You know, so, for example, if you give us 50 bucks, that becomes $100 coming to this radio station. Mm-hmm. If you give us $100, $200. Yeah. So, and maybe you can even start with a, just a donation of 5 or $10 a month. But the yearly gift will be matched up to $2,000. But only today. Just today we're doing that. So, you know, feel extra good about yourself. Call in. Go on the website, AshevilleFM.org. And, of course, as you already know, anytime you tune in, you will hear something interesting, something informative, or even something hilarious. We do this for you, our listeners. All we are asking to do is for you to pick up that phone and give us a call, 828-259-3936. That's it. Like Ben was saying, you can even make a monthly donation. And if that's not enough, just feeling good about doing something awesome, I believe we're also giving away some really cool some things here uh, yeah i'm seeing so yeah so you've got more than one chance to get our classic hat mm-hmm. as a thank you gift uh, it's a 103.3 fm hat flat brimmed yes. black snapback ball cap that's, that's that sounds cool uh with a golden 103.3 logo emblazoned on the front uh you just gotta do a month uh donation of ten dollars a month right now uh, so mm-hmm. just contact us for that and furthermore when you give Today, you're also entered in the drawing for a pair of tickets to the Crystal M- M- Method yeah. at Asheville Music Hall on May 4th. So, that's even more incentive to donate now if you want to go see that awesome band. I agree. And remember, the number to call is 828-259-3936 or contact us through our website at AshevilleFM.org. Sounds amazing, Sagan. So, did you know... That donor support represents about half of our operating budget. It costs us about $29,260 a year, or over $80 a day, just to get our music out on the airwaves to you. And that doesn't even include our news and podcasting initiatives, or operating supplies. You are what makes the difference. You make the quality and variety of shows in Asheville FM possible. Because FM matters to you, make a personal contribution to pay for the shows we listen to. Mm-hmm. Let's play some more m- music now. This is a song by Lucy Cullen Tari, the recent g- Grammy winner that never made it onto an album. It's a Spanish translation of one of her most famous songs, Fantastic. It's called Fantastica, and it's this week's Kindy Lost and Found selection on Radioactive Kids. Me siento fantastica. Y muy entusiasmada Y quiero Cantar la 
Tenemos que cantar Porque es la única manera de expresar La alegría que nos hace saltar Tenemos que cantar Porque es la única manera de gozar Todos juntos vamos a celebrar Ba 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 be. This is Lucy Kalantari, and you're listening to Ba 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 be. This is Lucy Kalantari, and you're listening to Radioactive Kids on Asheville FM. How cool is that? Oh, what a morning! Oh, what a day! I'm rolling down the river and I'm riding on a wave. I'm feeling like it's gonna be the best day of my life. Give me a one and a two and a three, four, high five. In the sky The windshield playing hockey with a rock. I might have spilled the orange juice and wiped it with the dog. I make a one, I make a two, I make a three mistakes. But mistakes are good, they help me grow a little every day. I make a four, a five, and six, I make a seven or eight. 
I love the end of that song because, you know, mistakes are okay. Um, that was Splashing Boots and Mistakes Are OK from their new album, You, Me, and the Sea. Before that, we heard High Five and a, a, and a song by Lucy Kalantari called Fantastica, plus a station ID that I made a mistake on from Lucy Kalantari. And, it, and also this week, I forgot to announce at the beginning of the show, we have a new comics talk with Raj. So here goes. You are listening to Radioactive Kids. It is time once again for the April edition of the Comics Talk with Raj. Hello. Hello, hello. Happy to be here. Awesome. So uh, you have three more comics, and I think I see a theme running through these three just from looking at the covers. What's the theme? Well, maybe the theme is scampering through (laughs) or crawling through. The theme is uh, all these comics have... uh, Animal protagonists, mm. uh, anthropomorphized animals to be precise. Mm-hmm. Walking around, wearing hats, doing all kinds of fun stuff like that. <laughs> all right, so uh, sort of in order of maybe age ah. appropriateness for the reader, okay. I will say that we're going to start with a comic called The Adventures of Polo uh, by. Regis. Yeah, Regis. Flair, I think uh-huh. it's a French name. Yeah. Uh, it, and it doesn't really matter what's inside, though, because it is a wordless comic. Mm-hmm. So the language is a non-issue. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a uh, style of comic that I've really been pushing recently and enjoying myself. Uh, so you know, imagine a picture book with no words. Um, all of those, almost, kind of fall under the category of comics. Yep. Um, Technically, <laughs> but this one is really a comic. It's yeah. from a French comic creator. It's awesome, and it's a very, um, I want to say, silly, kind of absurd yeah. book. Uh, That's a better word. M- yeah. Much like we've covered before, Benjamin Bear, or Bixby Bear now. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, a lot of the humor comes from uh, uh, just ridiculous um, physics that doesn't really make any sense that happens yeah. in here. So, like, he'll throw out a fishing line and then walk across it or, you know, jump and hold onto a, the moon and swing around. Stuff that, you know, obviously is impossible, but it's fun to see. It's fun to yeah. conceive of. Yeah, um, and the, the main character is a dog, so we, we're starting with dogs. Right? Yes, yeah. so, so starting with yeah. dogs so far, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, if you've ever read one of my personal favorite books of all time, uh, Harold and Purple Crayon, yes. kind of like that, you know, what doesn't make since technically in a in a realistic kind of way, but fun to see, fun uh, goofiness and kind of magic uh, illogicality. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, whatever it <laughs> is, works. much like that word, it it's makes so no good. sense. Uh, and those adventures of Polo. There's yes. we have two copies here. There's a solo uh, uh, a a solo polo solo polo <laughs> a. Sequel polo uh-huh. after this one as well, <laughs> but they're fantastic from the librarian perspective because it really helps kids who are pre-literate mm-hmm. uh, to young to actually know how to read, um, get grasp the concepts of holding a book, opening a book, orienting it, and then following along with the story. Yeah, um, kids very very 
before they, way before they actually learn to read, can easily follow along and they can fill in the blanks. One of the great things about comics is that it forces your mind to work in a different way than when mm -hmm. you're just reading a, a text or prose book. Yep. And these are the absolute epitome of that because there's no words. All you're doing is looking at the pictures and putting them together and uh, it helps kids kind of learn narrative and storytelling and uh, critical thinking and kind of following what comes next. And even if you're older than that, it's still a lot of fun to read. It is. Oh, I read them all the time. I love it. Uh, we, we had this book for a long time over in the picture book section, but then someone realized, wait, this is just a comic with no words in it. So mm -hmm. we're putting it over in the graphic novel section and it's going out like way more. It's awesome. a lot of fun. Yeah, it's awesome, awesome, it. awesome. What's the second one? Uh, uh, next is called... Kitten Construction Company. Mm -hmm. <laughs> meet, the, meet the house kittens. Uh, obviously, the animal in this one is kittens. Yes. It's about a bunch of kittens who uh, basically run a construction company, mm -hmm. but no one takes them seriously because they're kittens. And so <laughs> there's some big project being taken care of in town, and everyone's ignoring them, but they're like the best at building, apparently. <laughs> and so because kittens are in. the best at everything. Exactly. When they come in, like, it's not going to work. You're doing this all wrong. You're going to fall apart. And everyone's like, oh, what a cute kitten. What are you saying? No one cares. And they're like, no, listen to us. You're ruining everything. <laughs> um, and then eventually they form their own company, and get, like I guess tiny little furry contracting licenses, uh, and take over the project and build it. Awesome! Um, if you've read one of my all-time favorite uh, uh, books here, I've read recently, uh, Hippopotamister. Yeah, it's the same creator. Mm -hmm. Hippopotamister was his first book, I believe, it's, and it is John Patrick John Green. Patrick Green. Yeah. I don't believe we said that yet. I don't think we did. <laughs> so excited! Jump right into it. Um, yeah, John Patrick Green previously wrote Hippopotamister. Yes. Great name. Uh, one of the most cleverly constructed, funny little um, comics I've read in quite a while. The staff here loved it. We all read it. It was a big hit. Mm -hmm. And this is his follow-up. Mm -hmm. It's not a sequel, but it's his next book he's come out with. Um, only has two that I know of, actually. And they're both um, great. Awesome. Yeah, so, so that is Kitten Construction Company Meet the House Kittens by mm -hmm. John Patrick John Green. John Patrick Green, indeed. Uh, finally, the mm -hmm. book we have uh, is a series, in fact. We have one here in front of us. It is called Mouse Guard mm -hmm. by David Peterson. And the animal in this one, obviously, are mice. At least in the lead. Yeah. Uh, there's also uh, ferrets and birds, crabs, snakes, wow. all sorts of animals running around together. Um, and the best way to describe it, I guess, is a graphic novel type Redwall story. Whoa. If you've read Redwall, um, it's a honestly I've reread Redwall recently, and uh, <laughs> this is better. I'm gonna say, <laughs> things better. The writing is better. Characters are better. Uh, it's wonderful. The art is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, um, just like these animals in, in a medieval type. Setting precisely, yeah. There, the, uh, the mouse guard is this sworn league uh, of mice who protect the goodly mouse folk. You know, mm -hmm. when they're out trading or um, going through the forest, but they live in uh, yeah medieval kind of Tudoresque houses. They cool. have meetings and they have cloaks on, and then it's a very interesting society they're going with here. But of course, they're tiny, so the trees are, are normal size. Not mm -hmm. like they're, everything is, is mouse size. There's so they live. Of they, trees. they live in their own little world within the real world. Exactly. Um, but they have, you know they sail, they farm, they gather all this stuff. You know, where they're gathering mm -hmm. acorns, but it's their head to eat and things <laughs> like that. Um, but there's this um, kind of like the nice Templar maybe of, of mice who protect everyone and they're constantly trying to you know ward off snakes and mm -hmm. threats from foxes and things like that and protect everyone and it's kind of their stories yeah um, and uh, the first volume is called Fall 1152 Ooh. which is the the year within Mouse Guard world which just takes mm -hmm. and then there's a winter a spring the, the volumes go like that and some other spin-off books beyond there even. Okay. Uh, but the art is beautiful. It's um, black pin line art uh, and then watercolored on top of that. Wow. They're really cute. Um, it kind of straddles, I will say, the juvenile to YA mm -hmm. um, divide. So there's there's some, you know, some 
heavy action scenes and things like that, which might be a, mu a bit much for the little kids, but it's a really nice way to um, transition once you're, you know, a, a kid, an adult, anybody wants to move away from maybe the very uh, kid-like stuff into some more serious themes in their graphic novels. Great. Now, Scarred is fantastic. Awesome. Uh, and if, and if you loved Redwall the way I did growing up, it's a fantastic way to kind of get back into that um, world, uh, that, that type of world, rather. Awesome. So uh, the th three b b b books we had in order were... Um, uh, from the top, yeah, okay. uh, Adventures of Polo by Regis Faller, or Faller, R-E-G-I-S-F-A-L-L-E-R. -E mm -hmm. That's published by Roaring B Brook Press. Mm-hmm, Roaring Brook nice. Press. Uh, Kitten Construction Company by John Patrick Green, and that one was first, second. Of course. Of course. <laughs> All the good stuff. Uh, and Mouse Guard by David Peterson, and that is published by Arkea. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much, I think, I would say Arkea's like flagship book as well. Uh -huh. And it's interesting because it's always published in a square format. Huh. Uh, they're not, you know, book size, tall and thin. They're always square, even the individual. Floppy issues you buy oh, wow. are all square. Work squares uh, when they come out, and it's just just beautiful. You know, it's kind of have a if you like high fantasy, it's yeah. a good place to start that because you know it's, it's animals or cute. It's not like you drive right into Tolkien if you want to get hmm. there eventually, but you can. Um, also, it'd be good to read probably with Bone, which has yes. also also high fantasy aspects, but also very cute and accessible. Yes, awesome. So, where can we find these? <laughs> three books we want to check them out and I'm sure we do you can find all three of these books and their sequels and many many more comics right here at Pack Library my name is Raj I am down in the kids department yes. so if you want some comics I will load you up just come down and see me awesome I, I know y'all will do, do, do that and I'm sure he is looking forward to seeing you and giving you tons of comics very much thanks for having me alright thanks alright welcome back uh, this is Ben Brill here with Sagan. And Sagan, I don't know. I mean, after this break, I might have to go over and get that kitten construction company. <laughs> yeah. That sounds adorable. It's a lot of fun. Like, John P Patrick Green is is one of the most fun uh, artists writing comics today. Just something else I never would have heard of without Asheville FM. Yes! Yeah. So we're here to remind you again about the spring membership and fund drive. Yes! We're taking just a quick break to let you know how much your support means to us and why it matters. Mm -hmm. um, so during this critical week of fundraising, uh, we really need your help. The first $2,000 in donations will be matched. So if you give us 10 bucks a month, it's going to be worth 20 bucks a month to us. Mm -hmm. and, uh, just, and, and so on. Uh, make your gift now. All you've got to do, go to AshevilleFM.org. Just pull out your phone, get on your computer, or you can call us at 828-259-3936. You probably look forward to listening to Asheville FM every day, but if you never... G g given before, it, then it's time to donate because you may not realize that Asheville FM is listener-supported radio. We count on financial support from people like you, people who care about new music and community news and information. Yeah, sounds great. And if you've only discovered us recently, we are a local community radio station programmed completely by volunteers, uh, your neighbors, your co-workers, and your friends. Mm -hmm. uh, we are truly a community radio station providing real alternatives to music and news that's only heard right here on this station. We're able to bring you more programming per hour because we don't have to take time out for long blocks of commercials. <laughs> yes, I love that. Our business is to inform and entertain you and bring you the best music and news possible. Provide quality shows for you to enjoy. Our airwaves and internet screen, internet stream isn't controlled or funded by corporate media conglomerates, much like all these artists th that I play. They're all independent, real p p people making real music for you. Uh, instead, it is, it is only possible when our listeners join in and show support. We have a big goal this drive of raising $32,000. So please show your support now at AshevilleFM.org or 828-259-3936. $32,000. we will get that in the next hour. Right? Oh, so yeah. No problem. Oh, we will. We'll knock it out of the park. <laughs> you know it. Um, <laughs> you listen to Asheville FM because we are your oasis of diversity amid the sameness of the commercial media landscape. And you're tired of hearing the same news and songs over and over across the radio dial? Yeah. Did you know that we spin over 3,000 songs each month? That means you'll hear songs you won't hear anywhere else. 
Well, that's incredible, Sagan. Now, how valuable is it to you to be able to listen to Asheville FM, hear fresh new music like you're hearing today and local news? Maybe it's worth a dollar a day? Yeah. I don't know. Just a dollar a day? That's not much. Now, let, let's tell you a little bit about what you get also because, I mean, in addition to being really helpful uh -huh. um, to us in the community, uh, we've got a couple different levels of you know, ways of thanking you. So if you go to the website, which I just did a minute ago, I, I was mm -hmm. really curious myself, uh, you're going to just go on the website and click the Donate button yep. in the menu. And so for our, the best we can, um, the best thing that you can do is do um, the equivalent of $30 a month. Mm -hmm. And that is our 103.3 premium member. Yes. Now, we do a lot to thank you if you do that. Yes. You get uh, a, a new uh, Julie Armbruster designed T-shirt and a new Firefly Jar r r Radio, which is a basically a ball jar that looks like like a radio and it actually plays Asheville FM for you. <laughs> if nothing else, you got to go on the website. There's a picture of it. I had to know what it, what what was a Firefly Radio. It's so cool. Yeah, just go go check it out. You know, to satisfy your curiosity. I'm not. We're not going to describe it in too much more detail, but it's it's worth seeing. Um, so go in there, uh, and if that's too much for you, don't worry because we've got a lot of other options. Uh, let's see, what's the next level down there? You get the sixty dollar level, the one of three point three dollar level, one hundred three dollars and thirty cents, or the three hundred sixty five dollar level. Yeah, and you get you get awesome hats, t shirts uh, for all of those. So uh, yeah, just head on to the website. It's probably the best way. You can see everything there, or just give us a call if you have any questions about it. Yep, that um, number is 828-259-3936. And of course, in a d d d d d addition to playing, you know, pretty mainstream music, I also like to play uh, underground types of music because that's what the the show is here for. I like to play stuff that nobody else plays. Um, so this is a, a a new group from Austin. We're playing two new groups from Austin on today's show called Ultrasonic Kids. They are a kids punk group. They have, uh, I think, five new singles. We're going to play two of them now. This first song you might know, but you probably never heard it like this. Ultra Ultrasonic Kids on Radioactive Kids on Asheville FM. Who I'm going to be, it's time, it's time Put the water in the top 
because it's back time, it's play time for me. It's back time, it's play time for me. It's back time, it's play time. Charge to the Exploding Sharks. You are listening to Asheville FM at WSFMLP 103.3 Asheville. Where else would you hear this type of thing? There are many kinds of cats in the world today. Tigers in the jungle, cougars in the mountains, and house cats sleeping on your chair. But long ago, there lived one type of cat that would make all the others run for their lives. Its name was Sabertooth. Like giant knives, saber tooth, bullet 
downtown Los Angeles, California, hungry Smilodons had a nasty surprise waiting for them. Pools of sticky black tar formed deadly traps for ancient animals in a place now called the La Brea Tar Pits. Often the tar was covered with leaves and sticks or even water, so the animals didn't see it. When a big mammal, like a bison or a mammoth, walked through the tar, its feet got stuck in an oily ooze and began to slowly sink into the pit. The struggling animal attracted Sabretooth, looking for an easy meal. Then the Sabretooth got stuck also, and all the animals sank together into the tar. For the last hundred years, Scientists have been digging in the pits and bringing up bones. So far, they found the bones of more than 2,000 saber-toothed tigers who died in the pits. They've also found remains from lots of other animals, including birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and even bugs. That was pretty nuts, w- w- was it not? That was the Exploding Sharks and from and a song called Sabretooth from their album Dimetrodon Tron. Yeah, pretty darn crazy, huh? That was uh, uh, the, 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 they are from I believe Portland, and it's b- b- basically just one guy who makes crazy awesome music in his basement. Um, before that, we heard two songs by Kid Charge. All These Restrictions and Don't Wanna To from their WEP, The Kids Are Having Their Say. We also heard two songs by Ultrasonic Kids, ABC and Bath Time. As we enter this second hour of Radioactive Kids programming, support is brought to you by Bucci Kombucha. Bucci Kombucha blends probiotic tonics using the 2,000-year-old craft brewing tradition with fair trade organic teas, fruits, spices, and medicinal herbs. For more information, Drink Bucci.com or and Facebook. D- 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 disability Partners Pathways for the Future is a 501c3 helping people with d- disabilities create opportunities for community inclusion and independence. Currently so- serving 14 counties in North Carolina through their Asheville and Silva 
offices. Disability Partners is part of a nationwide movement born out of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973, dedicated to advocating for the rights and resources that help people with disabilities live independently. More information available at www.disabilitypartners.org. And as you know, if you've been listening to the show so far, it is the Asheville FM Spring Fun Drive. I am Sagan, the host of Radioactive Kids, and I'm here with Ben Brill, local kids musician who rules. Yeah. Yeah. And we are welcoming you to the Spring Fun Drive. Now, we're only going to take a couple minutes of your time. We know how much you love this programming. That's why we're here, because you love us. Yes. This week is our spring fun to drive, and to keep the station running, we actually need your support to do this. <laughs> yes, we do. If you're new to the concept of listener-supported radio, let me remind you that we don't air commercials on, here on Asheville FM. The underwriting and p- p- PSA that I just read is all we do, and I like that because it's local b- b- businesses who you know are real people and not giant corporations, and that means we don't get advertising dollars because of that we rely on donations from you to help support all the expenses we have here now did you know that listener support makes up about half of our operating budget you are what makes the difference you make the quality and variety of programs in Asheville fm possible and because Asheville fm matters to you you can make a personal contribution to help pay for programs you listen to super easy you can go to ashevillefm.org and then you click the donate button in the yes. menu you can see everything there, or you can call us if you just want to chat and uh, just talk about how you want to donate at 828-259-3936. Become part of your community radio station today. When you donate to Asheville FM, you support real live people bringing you the music, talk, and local news programming that you hear every day on Asheville FM. Giving is easy. All we need is your name, contact information, the amount of your donation, and how you'd like to pay. It just takes a few minutes to make your gift to Asheville FM. Yeah, exactly, Sagan. So luckily we don't rely on support from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, whose funding is right now under threat from the Trump administration's proposed budget cuts. Mm -hmm. Instead, we rely on listeners like you and our local business partners. Who ensure that we are lifting up the community with local voices and local news and local music that matters to you. If you appreciate what we do, then we need your support right now at AshevilleFM.org or 828-259-3936. And, and also, if you d- d- donate today, you'll be uh, uh, entered into a drawing to win a pair of tickets to the Crystal Method at Asheville Music Hall on May 4th. That's yeah. next week. So if you want to go see them, you got to donate. Exactly. That's that's reason enough, Sagan. Yes. Awesome. So um, we have, um, if everything works out c- correctly, we'll have an I- interview at 9.30 with Renee, from a f- formerly of Renee and Jeremy, and now of Renee and Friends. She has a new album that is great. It's called Kindred. And this first song we're going to play from the album is featuring Renee and J- 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 Jeremy, a, a little reunited um, song right there. It's called Kindness is Cool. Hope you enjoy it. This is Asheville FM. I'm Sagan, and you're listening to Radioactive Kids. Kindness is cool. something mean to you a friend or anyone in between that's the time to say hey hey don't be that way Oh, 
It's fine building jumbo planes or taking a ride on a cosmic train switch on summer from a slot machine yeah get what you want to if you want because you can get anything I know we've come a long way we're changing day to day. Tell me, where do the children play? Well, you roll on roads over fresh green grass For your lorry loads, pumping petrol gas And 
you make them long, whoa, and you make them tough. But they just go on and on, and it seems you can't get off. I know we've come a long way, we're changing day to day. But tell me, where do the children play? Crack the sky, scrapers fill the air. Will you keep on building higher till there's no more room up there? Will you make us laugh? Will you make us cry? Will you tell us when to live? Will you tell us when to die? I know we've come a long way, we're changing day to day. But tell me, where do the children play? Where do the children? Where do the children? Where do the children play? Where do the children play? Where do the children play? Where do the children? Oh, so good. That was Kindred by Renee and Friends featuring Tom Rossi. 
also on vocals. That's from the album of the same title. Before that, we heard Where Do the Children Play, a cover of a Cat Stevens song featuring Ziggy Marley on vocals. We heard Super Fragile World featuring Renee's daughter, Amelia Dector, and started the set off with Kindness is Cool by Renee and Jeremy. We are thoroughly enjoying the uh, the, the show. I believe uh, uh, Ben's c- c- cooking up a special little surprise for us, hopefully, after um, this next song. Uh, this next song is called Be Curious, and it features Jennifer Pascal, who we played on the show before. This is Renee and Friends on Asheville FM at WSFMLP 103.3. Asheville, I am Sagan. This is Radioactive Kids. wondering if after all these years you'd like to make a donation to Asheville 103.0 FM Hello It's Ben Brill in the studio with Sagan We need your support to make this radio station happen Hello all right, we're back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was just looking at our script here, and it said hello, and I thought, oh, that's like an Adele song. So yes. That, so there you go. Yes, and of course you can give us a call if you l- 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 like that. The number is eight two eight two five nine three nine three six. It's awesome. It's super easy to make a donation if you go to our the website AshevilleFM.org. You can click donate. And you'll see all the different awesome things you can get. If you haven't heard us talk about the Firefly Jar Radio yet. <laughs> You really ought to see it. Just go go on there and just see what that's all about. It's one of the prizes you can get. I want our ways of saying thank you. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So yeah, uh, your donations not only help keep the station on air, but it also allows us to make some really cool community impacts, like our youth and community podcast b- b- boot camp, where we partner with nonprofits empowering our youth to share their stories while gaining m- marketable skills in podcast creation and production. We partner with Word on the Street to teach young Black and Latinx youth to tell their stories using audio. We plan to continue offering a boot uh, boot camp next year and expand it to teach other members of the community how to podcast as well. You can also help us continue to re-energize our remote broadcasting capabilities and put Asheville FM in the community through live remotes in local venues and businesses. If you appreciate how Asheville FM builds community, then please donate now to help us continue this great work. All right, and and we have one more song by Renee and Friends. But please give us a call the uh, or or uh, go to our website. The website is AshevilleFM.org. Stand for what I believe in We all weave this web The web of life 
family to follow Does she follow a heart like Frida Kahlo? Does he make harmony like Peter Yarrow And set the stage like a showtime at the Apollo? I can see the marble like a constellation Shining, young minds in conversation Finding common ground that the parents couldn't see To break down a boundary where it shouldn't be Young folk leave ignorance unspoke Fresh breath of air, clear away gun smoke Sun broke over brand new horizons Sons and daughters arriving and thriving Surviving yesterday with lots to say So much love, the hate gets washed away And hey, my hope might sound preposterous But rocking with lots of kids made me an optimist We are the leaders of the world We That was Leaders of the World by Renee and Friends. And uh, Renee, are you there? Hello? I can't hear you. Um, well, this seems to be happening again. Let's play another song by uh, Renee and Friends. This is called Rely. It's f- featuring her d- 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 daughters, Amelia and Isadora. And I'm not entirely sure why it's not working. All right. 
right, we are back on Asheville FM, and I am happy to have uh, Renee from Renee and Friends on the air with me right now. Hello. Hi, good morning. Awesome. So uh, we are, of course, uh, thoroughly enjoying your new album on Radioactive Kids, and I wanted to start by by asking you, you know, how you you put this album together, like what... What is the the you know the g- general um, thing you're trying to g- 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 get across with this album, and of course also why you included so many c- collaborations? Because I I feel like that's an important p- part of the m- 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 message. Absolutely. Well, I mean, life is so much better with friends, right? So it's Renee and friends, and it's really um you know I started with my Renee and Jeremy, and Jeremy is actually on this record as you can hear, and um. I just, I really wanted to do more songs to include more people, just for, I feel like it's almost like a tree, you know, it's, we all help each other, and it just kind of branches out into other places, so um, I love writing with other people, and I love singing with people, so I just invited friends for us to, like Lisa Loeb, she was on the first Renee and Friends record as well, and just for, you know, for my audience to hear her, and her audience to hear me, and just for us all to kind of keep growing and helping each other. So that was really my, my intention of doing this. And then I invited my daughters to sing on this one too, which I'm really excited about. And um, I just love bringing people on and, and working with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I think that's, that, that really adds to the whole, the whole f- f- feeling of the, of the album. Um, mm-hmm. um, I, I, it's, it's really great, you know, how, how you, you include a c- c- covers on the album as well but you kind of you know reinterpret them like of course the, right. the you know the where do the ch- children play with Ziggy M- M- Marley yeah um that was actually my producer's idea to do that song his yeah. wife's idea and um i don't think anyone's really covered that song before um mm. such a beautiful song and very appropriate for our times i think right now as well is when he wrote it cat stevens yeah um so yeah, I just I I find songs that will appeal to everyone, mm-hmm. children and adults, and um, and those two songs really felt right for this record. I, I also love High Hopes, yes, and um, it's one of my dad's favorite songs too. So mm-hmm. I wanted to do something that would make him smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I was th- 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 thinking about this b- before the interview, like, you know, to me, your music s- kind of seems to occupy an in-between place, like in-between k- kids' music and adult music. Like, it's, 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 not really, it's not really either, and it's kind of both at the same time. So uh, is, that, is that true, or, or, or do you agree with that? I mean, that wasn't really my intention when I first started. I was, I was mm. writing, you know, singer-songwriter music. Before this, and when Jeremy and I got together, we just started making music that we love, and it seemed to fill a little uh, a void in the music industry for children's music at the time, I think. Elizabeth Mitchell also, people, um, Dan Zane, people started making music that just everyone loved, and um, I know people who buy my music don't even have kids. They just It's just music that people love and enjoy of, of all ages. We say we make original music for children of all ages. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, yeah, uh, I'm really happy that people, that everyone loves it. And so, you know, as a parent myself, you know, I listen to a lot of music when my kids are in the car, and I hope, you know, I hope it's something that everyone can listen to together and not just, you know, quote-unquote kids music, yeah. right? It's, it's people music. Yes. Oh, that, that's, 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 that's so, so great. That's a great way of yeah. describing it. Yeah, p- p- people music. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I also wanted to ask you about a c- couple of the songs specifically. Um, probably my favorite song on the album is "Leaders of the World" because it it provides like a a really r- realistic but p- p- positive look at the f- f- future and what and what can happen in the f- future. Mm. So, how did you r- yeah. r- write that one and, and write it with Secret Agent Twenty Three Skidoo? Well, actually, I started that song with Jennifer Pascal. I don't know if you're familiar with her. She's an amazing children's music artist as well. And we just sat down and wanted to write a song. It just kind of came out, but it was the song that was 
uh, empowering, an empowerment song, just something that as soon as you start singing it, you can start feeling it. And then we decided that um, young adults should sing it, so it's actually my daughter and her friend Mm -hmm. singing it. And then the rap part, um, I love 23 Agents Skidoo. I love his message, his voice, and um, his feel. And so I just reached out to him and told him what I was looking for, and we collaborated on what would be best for that section. And I wanted something kind of old school rap style. Yeah. And he just, it just really is amazing what, what he wrote for that. So it's just, uh, I love that song too. I feel like it's very powerful. And then brought in a kid's chorus, the sound of children's voices to me is just very, very powerful. And it's definitely necessary for the, for the yeah. children of today and tomorrow. Right. Uh huh. Yes, d- 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 definitely. And it, it doesn't feel like you're, T- talking down to kids at all because it's mm-hmm. it, it's real, you know. You're like, hey, this is what, this is what's happening. It's it's real. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. Um. Also, yeah, sure. <laughs> this is just c- c- kind of a random c- 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 question. I was looking at the liner notes and I saw it. It says uh, that there's mouth trumpet on that song. Or, <laughs> <laughs> is that a joke? I don't. Yeah. Know, I, don't I don't hear it. It's not a joke. I I play it, and if it wasn't so early for me right now, I'd do it for you. I'm not really warmed up. <laughs> But it's, I definitely, it's just, um, it's my, it's me sounding like a trumpet. <laughs> That's great. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was trying to, to I do it on every record. Uh, that, that, that's so f- f- funny. I've never n- n- noticed it before. It's my little cameo. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Um, let's see. Uh, I also just wanted to say, you know, Tom Rossi yes. who produced the record. It's just incredible. And, um, as a collaborator and just, you know, producing and just really found the, the most beautiful um, feeling for the record. So I'm really, I just wanted to give him a shout out because he's amazing. Yes, yes. A sh- shout out to Tom, indeed. And he, he, <laughs> he also sings yeah. on, on, on one of the songs, right? Kindred, yeah, on the title track. Yes. Um, yeah, and backgrounds on a lot of songs, too. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Doesn't he play a, 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 lo- a lo- lot of the instrument, instrument as well? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, uh, we have just a few minutes left, but um, I wanted to ask you about the song R- "Rely" because I think it's a it's a r- r- really it, it's it's w- one of the best you know uh, expressions of s- s- sibling love that I've heard mm. in 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 a long time. You know, along with uh, Varid's album uh, uh, "Songs for s- s- Sisters and Brothers" uh, that came out last year. And so mm-hmm. I wanted to ask you how how did you r- write th- th- that one? So. That's actually a Renee and Jeremy song that oh. was on our record, Come On. Yeah. And it's one of my favorite songs that we've ever written. I feel like it's like a little poetry in in music. Mm-hmm. And um, I've always loved that song. And I was, a lot of the songs that ended up on the record, you know, I was going to do. And then it just came to me that maybe my daughters could do it. I started playing it and maybe they were in the room and started singing it. Oh, wow. And, um, and, for two reasons. One is just I love it, but also my my hidden message and um, was that maybe they'll stop fighting. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but just that you know, when when we're gone, the kids will have each other, and that they can rely on each other. And I just thought they did such a beautiful job on that. And we brought in real strings on that song, and just the just you know, so lovely with their little voices and the beautiful strings. Yes. But um. But have a listen to the original too. It's, mm-hmm. I think it's quite different. Awesome. Well, um, we're yeah. almost out of time, but I want to thank you so much for for c- c- calling us up. It, it has been really cool talking you. T- to you. Awesome. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you so much. And is there anything you you'd like to say to our to our l- l- listeners before we leave the air? I just want to say thanks for listening and, and sharing the music, and I hope it makes you feel good. Yes, uh, I, I certainly ho- hope so, too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Next time you're found with your chin on the ground, there's a lot to be learned. So look around. Just what makes that little old ant Think he'll move that rubber tree plant Any 
anyone knows. An ant can't move a rubber tree plant, but he's got high hopes. He's got high hopes. He's got high apple pie in the sky. Hope so. Anytime you get. Troubles call and your back's to the wall. There's a lot to be learned. That wall could fall. Once there was a silly old ram. Thought he'd punch a hole in a dam. No one could make that ram scram. He kept butting that dam 'cause he had. Hey, this is Dan Elliott of Pointed Man Band, and you are listening to Radioactive Kids on Asheville FM. Weight, causing a stir in the scientific debate. 
edge of the enlightenment Where I have the standard diploma A gauge for all a measurement Derived from our environment Oui, naturellement C'est un lemon, of course lemon And now we have an instrument And our weights can be exactement Well It's not like we thought its state is somewhat hard to explain It's losing where most items gain But the outline sung in the refrain Le Grand K is losing weight A tip in the scales in a lower state Le Grand K is losing weight A causing a stir in the scientific debate Deciding outside of Paris for over two whole centuries This weight has weight, just wait to see how it's driven Economy. We've made our many replications We've sent them to their proper stations To give this gift to all the nations And now it brings us new frustration It's like there is a new edition well, This K has a dietitian It brings it under some suspicion That a standard weight is in attrition Le Grand K is losing weight Causing a stir in the scientific debate Le Grand K is losing weight Tipping the scale We gathered up the scientists To see if we could define all this With all their fancy instruments We're still not in agreement With magnets, scales and numerals We're only off patesimals Patesimals, patesimals Patesimals, patesimals Patesimals, patesimals Patesimals, patesimals Patesimals, patesimals It's driving me crazy Love It's losing weight, it's tipping the scales in the lower state. The low from K is losing weight, a causing a stir in the scientific debate. The low from K is losing weight, it's tipping the scales in the lower state. The low from K is losing weight, a causing a stir. That was Le Grand K by the Pointed Man Band. Uh, we're also going to play their new album next week. I'm super excited about that. Before that, we heard a brand new single by Play Sounds called Hannah Barbarian. Ha 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 ha. Um, and the, that is a new single from their upcoming new album, which is going to be awesome. Um, and I am here in the studio to finish off the show with Tasha. And you, you're the host of Cesspool of Sin, Cesspool right? Cesspool of Sin, right. I am um, also known as DJ Minx. Yes. Or Mixtape Minx. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm on Cesspool of Sin on Sundays. Awesome. So we are taking a quick break here, one more quick break, to let you know how you can support this show and all the shows you rely on here at Asheville FM during this critical week of fundraising. Make your gift now at AshevilleFM.org or 828-259-3936. So listening to us is kind of a, like hanging out with a good friend. Yes. It, it's enjoyable. It's informative. You learn a lot about new music and events that are happening in the city. And, you know, someone has to pay for it. <laughs> um, our ranks of sustaining donors in particular give us financial confidence to take risks and plan big projects to bring more to our listeners than ever before. I call them our best friends. Yes. Friends of Asheville FM know that we provide something special that can't be found in other media, and we appreciate the support and encouragement that you give us every year. We are t- t- talking a lot about becoming a subscriber this drive. And here's a great reason to come to become a subscriber. Everyone who donates today will be entered into a drawing for a pair of tickets to the Crystal Method at Asheville Music Hall on May 4th. Yeah, that's a throwback to the 90s. So awesome. As a subscriber, you're automatically entered in future fun drives, fun drive drawings as well. So become a subscriber today. You don't want to miss out on this at AshevilleFM.org or 828-259-3936. 
The only way that we at Asheville FM can broadcast independent community radio for Western North Carolina is with the help of contributing listeners like you. We're a volunteer-driven organization. Most of the people here are volunteers. Yes. Your contribution goes directly to cover our expenses so that we can continue to bring you what you want to hear on the radio at 103.3 in Asheville and beyond. Support Asheville FM right now during our spring fund drive. You can make a don- difference when you go to AshevilleFM.org and click the donate button or call 828-259-3936 today. All right. And stay tuned. And stay tuned for something else with Ernesto, who is coming up. And I want to remind you one more time to... Uh, d- d- donate to Asheville FM at AshevilleFM.org. We have a v- 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 VIP m- 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 member where you get a vintage t-shirt reprint, a classic 103.3 FM logo ball cap, and our coolest new premium, a Firefly Jar Radio. Oh, it is so cool. It's this cute little radio, and it has lights, and it the lights light up when you're listening to the music. So it's really neat and such a cool premium. Awesome. Well, uh, hopefully y'all will call up, and I wanted to thank you for listening, and I'll see you again next week. Yay. So I'd like to tip my hat and acknowledge that you are totally amazing Even though you look a little weird
It's 10 a.m. in the Blue Ridge Mountains, and you are listening to Asheville FM at WSFMLP 103.3 Asheville. This is Something Else, the Saturday morning jazz broadcast here. And today is our 2019 Spring Membership and Fun Drive Edition. Stop by our studio.